a leopard on a termite mound. And actually, one of my absolute favorite leopards, I believe, I have to have a close look, but I think we have just found Tundi on Cheetah Plains. The oldest daughter, the twin sister of Shadow and the oldest daughter of Karula, the queen that James and Herbert are searching for. Hello, girl. And we actually have Andrew to thank for this because he said to me there were leopard, female leopard tracks coming up from Annette's, which is south of Cheetah Plains, towards Juma Dam. And lo and behold, here we have Tundi on a termite mound. And I'm very happy that she moved because if she hadn't moved, I wouldn't have spotted her. Hello, big girl. It's amazing you can so see the resemblance between Tundi, Shadow and Karula. Isn't she just stunning in this morning light? She's got a very, she's either got a very full belly or she's pregnant, which is something we sort of, we spoke about before. This looks like a combination of the two. We saw her a couple of weeks ago around the Mulwanini and we speculated that she might be pregnant. Um, looking at her now, she it's hard to tell. Let's just wait for her to move forward a little bit. But she has had a meal recently. That full belly is not just, if she is pregnant, it's not just cubs. Absolutely wonderful. What a nice surprise. Now for those of you who are new to Safari Live and our different leopard characters, to see a leopard perched on the top of a termite mound like this is actually a very common occurrence. That's because it provides them with a perfect vantage point. They can scope out the area before they go wandering through. The predator's eyesight is actually relatively good. She's geared towards movement, so they're attracted by movement, just like lions, which is why we always say when confronted with a leopard or a lion on foot, you absolutely never run away from them, because you trigger that instinct within them. So she's scanning, using those hypersensitive ears and nose and eyes, all in combination to see what she can find. Something's attracted her attention ever so slightly. Isn't this just an incredible view? Here you go. The three spot pattern on her left hand side. I think, unless I'm wrong, I think Tundi's 3-3. Three, three. I, I never remember the spot patterns, to be completely honest with you. I usually just recognize the, the leopard just from looking at them and their, their general shape and face. Three, ooh, what have we got there? Three, three. And what I'm talking about is the top row of spots on their nose, their whisker spots. Oh, flies irritating her. And that's how they get classified. So if you look at the top there, if you count one, two, and three, just where her nose starts to curve upwards. Oh, look at that. But when she looks at you like that, you absolutely know she's, ooh, look at that belly. That looks like a pregnant belly to me too. That looks like a very pregnant belly. It's right at the back. Isn't she just glorious in this dappled morning light? What a pleasant surprise. Lovely way to start off a morning. Definitely made the chilly drive to Cheetah Plains 100% worth it. Okay, she is leading us into a tricky block, but we shall, we shall endeavor.